Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. We are so glad to be back all in person at the traditional set of the Touchdown Table. And we are here to bring you our Week 5 picks. So again, super excited to be back here. It's been a while, but we're looking forward to a fun video. Yes, he's right. There's I'm a couple things. Back. There's a couple things we need to preface before we start with these picks. Number one, we apologize we weren't posting once again. If you've watched our last video, you saw we're it was in the dorm room. It. We're trying to make some set changes, so we're working on that. We'll be ready to go hopefully with that soon. And we got some pals who are willing to help us as well. So yeah, yeah. We're gonna see what happens with that. And second off. Um, we, this is not the normal time we post these videos. Thursday night game already happened. I'm just going to tell you our score predictions before the game. They're all wrong. Mine was 32-30 in favor of the Rams. Um, Ryan's was 26-24 in favor of the Rams. Mine was 28-24. Right. Right. And Jordan's was 28-24. We all picked the Rams to win, which we got right. But yeah. that's oh, it. Oh, and I got to say, I went 14-2 and two last week. So did I. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice job. It was a pretty easy week, I felt. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, I did good. We, we like, did good. We did so it's get an wrong. easy week. The, you got the, the, the Titans and the Rams. I got wrong. Yeah, see. Yeah. You picked pick the, the Giants to win last week? Yes, I did. Because, you know, the Saints have been so weird this year. I just kind of Yeah, like, they have one Yeah, they've been so unpredictable. We'll I kind of tried to repeat we'll the curve. Yeah, the, the Saints are, are, are weird. They could be anyone. Maybe I was 13 and 3. Time. I don't remember. I'll have to look I, I was it's 12 and 4. I think, okay. So, yeah. Pathetic. I know. Um, <laughs> so, I'll just start off with it. Moving into the first Sunday night game, I guess. And um, that game is the Jets and the Falcons in London, um, 8.30 Central Time. I still I can't remember times now. I'm in two different time zones. Um, but um, since it's Zach Wilson, I will be waking up and watching this game. But I'm still going to pick Atlanta to win this game. Three. They've been looking better on offense, and even though the Jets won last week somehow, I still think Atlanta has the weapons to pull us off with a 24-21 <clears> to <throat> win. Yeah, again, I still haven't decided if I'm going to wake up for this game yet. I mean, I like football, but I also love a good sleep as well. Love rolling out of bed at 11.30 and just having that full slate ready, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between, but I do have the Jets winning this one. I liked what I saw from them last week. They had a lot of chances to put that game away against the Titans. They were kind of lucky that Randy Bullock missed that kick at the end, or else they might have been walking away with a tie after having a lot of chances to, like I said, put it away. But I'm seeing improvement from the Jets. I think with a lot of the rookie quarterbacks, we're seeing steady improvement throughout these growing pains. You could say that about a lot of the guys. Zach Wilson being one of them. He had some great throws last week. And Atlanta, I mean, you know, they're a weird team. They'll pull off a win once in a while. But defensively, they're just not there. And offensively, they're pretty inconsistent, obviously, in the post-Julio Jones era. Give me the Jets 30-23 to across the pond. Yeah, both the teams in, these, in this game are teams that are, quote-unquote, picking up steam because, of course, they're not really playing too well. Uh, Jets got their first win last week. And uh, Atlanta's been struggling, but they have been putting up some points. Matt Ryan has been playing better. I have him in fantasy right now, by the way. Don't you dare let me down. I might pick someone else up, though. Not sure yet. Also, George Kittle is on IR. That makes me angry. We'll get to that later. Uh, but I got Atlanta in this game. I think the Jets played very well last year. The Titans are a tough team. Of course, they had some injuries. They had A.J. Brown and Julio Jones both out of that game. Uh, but the Julio Jones list Atlanta Falcons right now will take this game 23-21. Green Bay Packers at the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, and... Well, one of my buddies will be there, first of all. So you'll be happy to see Aaron Rodgers. Uh, that'll be fun. But I, I don't think that his team, the Bengals, uh, is going to win this one. I think the Packers will be able to steal this one. I mean, the Bears beat the Bengals, so I think the Packers should be able to beat the Bengals. But the Packers lost to the Saints, and the Saints just lost to the Giants. The NFL is weird. It kind of seems like a college football season this year, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's been some weird ones. <laughs> there has yeah. been some weird ones, but I am enjoying it. I got Green Bay 31-20 in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, both these teams are 3-1 and one coming in, but I also have Green Bay. I just think they're better. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to do his thing, although also Jair Alexander on IR is a bit of a concern. Mm -hmm. That just came out today, I think it was. So, um, you know, that's some tough news for Green Bay, but I think they'll be fine. Cincinnati will hang around, though. Packers win 27-19. Bengals have looked a lot better this year. Um, especially as the weeks have gone on. They're getting Jamar Chase involved really since the beginning. The defense for the Bengals is more underrated now. They're making plays, getting to the quarterback pretty fast. I don't think it's enough to beat Aaron Rodgers and the Packers yet. I do think they keep it close, but Aaron Rodgers, Packers, I'm going to have winning this game 32-23. Which brings us to our did next say, game, which is... the Packers beat the Saints? I think huh? they did. If I you did, know. that's what, I, I am correct. Um, oh, yeah. So, Lions and Vikings is our next game. Lions, although their record is terrible, 
Um, they have not looked terrible. I just watched them play last week against the Bears where they did not look great. They've been in close games. Wait, hold on, hold on. You just said they haven't looked terrible, and then you, then you just proceeded to say that the last week they didn't look great. Hey, they almost beat the Ravens who beat the Chiefs. <laughs> that's what I was getting to. I, just, didn't say, I didn't say they looked great. It's transitive I property said in I the NFL. NFL that's all it is. They're, they're the Lions, basically, and the Vikings have actually looked all right, too, so I'm going to pick them to win 27-23. Yeah, th- this game, I mean, the Vi- the Vikings, I think, are the better team, but the Vikings are playing an inferior team at home, so you know what happens. You know, the Lions are going to take the two-score lead early. It'll be 10 nothing, 14 nothing, 14 3 but then the Lions will make a few mistakes, the Vikings will get a few breaks, and then Kirk Cousins will generate this late drive that gives the Vikings the win. I just like, even last year, and sometimes early in early stages of this year, although we haven't really seen as much opportunity for it yet, but last year especially, when the Vikings played a team that was you know not as good as them, they almost kind of played down to their competition. We saw it um, when they played the Jaguars last year, and also when they played uh, Carolina, because Carolina wasn't as good last year as they are this year. So that's just an oddly specific prediction I have about that game, but I've got Minnesota pulling it out late. 30 to 26 over Detroit. <laughs> yeah, uh, for this game, um, what was I going to say? Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, so, if you guys have watched this channel in the past, you know that uh, I never really have been a big Vikings fan. I'm a Bears fan myself, and I really hated the Vikings for a while. But this season, I think I mentioned in other videos too that we did, but I'm starting to like the Vikings a little bit more. Uh, me and Kirk Cousins, we worked out our issues. We're good pals now. Uh, we're, we're friends, actually. We're right, he, he doesn't know it, but we're, we're friends. And of course, I got Adam Thielen on my. I, fantasy team so as long as he scores this week I don't care what happens but I got his team winning this one 26-17 Minnesota pulls it out next game is the Denver Broncos at the Pittsburgh Steelers this is a game that I think is really fun because it's a team that I think I mean it's, it's so tough with the Steelers they beat, remember they beat the Bills in week one and now they're just on the struggle bus, and it's hard to tell where this team is. And then the Broncos, kind of the opposite. They got a good record, but they played a pretty easy schedule. So I think this game could go both ways. But I ended up airing with my guy, Teddy Bridgewater. You all know I love him. I got him winning this one, 22-16. And I'm going to be right back because i got to go to my door to let somebody in my house. See ya. All right. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. You go do that. Um, I have Pittsburgh in this one. I went back and forth. I just think that, well, I'm not surprised by Pittsburgh's struggles. I think their week one win, although it was a good one, it was kind of a fluke. I don't think Pittsburgh's a playoff team. I think Big Ben's declining, but I think the Pittsburgh defense is going to be key in this one, making a few plays, giving their offense some short fields. It's going to be tight, but I think Pittsburgh gets a much-needed win, 27-21. I'm lone wolf in the Broncos here. I gave my prediction earlier on. The Steelers right now, they've just been in a pit right now. No pun intended, Pittsburgh. Um, they're not looking good ever since week one. Ben roethlisberger has been one of the worst quarterbacks in the league this year. Uh, and the Broncos, although I think their record is deceptive, I don't think they're as good as they are. I think they're better than the Steelers right now who are um, in a deep hole at the moment because they can't find a win. Broncos win 22-17. That next game that we have now is the Miami Dolphins against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Buccaneers have been on and off. It's been more on than off, but last week we saw some struggles, and I think they bounced back from that. Um, actually, for the past two weeks they haven't looked great, but I mean yeah. they won last week, so that's good. Again, the infamous Tom Brady back in New England game, which was great, by the way. Uh, I have Tampa winning 34-24. Uh, yeah, as you alluded to, Tampa Bay, they, they got it done, and a win is a win, but last week in New England, you could definitely tell that Tom Brady and that offense really looked uncomfortable. It wasn't pretty. It was you know just kind of a weird game. I honestly think Mac Jones played better than Tom Brady last week, but yeah. nevertheless, the win and the loss is what matters there. most. But at the end of the day, I think Tampa Bay bounces back in a pretty big way, 35-17. They win decisively. Jordan, it's your pick right now. We're picking Miami and Tampa Bay, so whenever you're ready. Go ahead and uh, tell us your score prediction. Oh, I know. Oh, I just realized. <clears throat> Welcome back to me, everyone. Thank you so much for welcoming back. I do appreciate it. Um, they talked about last week's game. Very good. Thank you for picking that camera up. I know you want to get my beautiful face in the shot, so that's where we're getting here. Um, technical issues. I'm gonna make sure it's set up. To a list, Keep Miami going. Dolphins right now, and uh, Tampa Bay. You know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, that game should not have been that close whack last week. I'm glad it was because it was a fantastic story, and I'm glad that uh, we were able to see that this matchup between Belichick and Brady is not just a one-sided Brady just because he won the Super Bowl last year. It seems like everyone was kind of on the train of saying how Belichick was 
you know, not the reason they're winning, but he certainly is a fantastic coach. Uh, but anyways, back to this game. I got Tampa Bay winning 32-21. Next game. Got the New Orleans Saints I really hope versus, New Orleans. Uh, I almost said it, they're not the, the name that they were before. They're the Washington football team. Uh, and, well, as you can see by what I'm wearing right now, you don't think I'm picking Washington. Although I do like Taylor Heineke. He is my boy. I might be picking up in fantasy. Not sure yet. I got the... Two people in your league. Is, I, oh, well, you're not going to pick him up. No. I already picked him up. I got the inconsistent Saints winning this one. 24 to 20. Get this off of me. I'm a Bears fan. Yeah. Um, Go uh, Drew Brees. What do we got? College game, co- college game day over here with the helmet picks? I, mean, I don't know what's your going NBC on. helmet then? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, th- th- this g- If it's a Saints game, honestly, just flip a coin. They're so weird. I mean, I don't know how to explain that team. Very unpredictable, but... Which side do you want? Um, oh, I don't I don't mean it literally. I, ha- I, have, I have a pick. And I am picking the Washington football team. Saints or Heads? I, I'm picking the Washington football team. But, you know, you can have fun with that. I think Washington wins this one 21-20. I think that their defense... Tails. And you said the Saints are heads? Uh-huh. Okay, so it worked out. I'm picking <laughs> Washington. Um, so, yeah, I think that Washington's defense will finally make a few key plays. We've kind of been waiting for them to get back to their 2020 form. They've been a bit of a disappointment this year. I know they've played some tough teams like the Bills. It's understandable to get rocked by them. But I think that Washington's defense needs to start living up to the hype if they want to go anywhere this year. I think they'll make a few key plays. And Jameis Winston, maybe he'll just randomly throw the ball up in the air again, which he does, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It. He is, and uh, yeah, Saints are. We're not going to say the meme Washington on this channel because we don't use that kind of language on here. But you know what we're talking about when they just throw it up in the air. Um, you know, he's down there somewhere. We're not going to say the word. Let's but, move yeah. on. Um, my turn. My turn to pick this. And um, Ryan, what you're neglecting to understand is there's a simple formula for how the New Orleans Saints win games. Look at Week One. They're on top of the world. Week Two, they're down here. Okay. Week Three, they're good again. Week four, they're way down here again. Here we are. Yeah. I, I, know, I, have, I have here. a lot of weird formulas. We're back here in week five, and that means the New Orleans Saints <laughs> must win on the road, 31-27. I got the Saints. Next one is the Eagles and the Panthers. Panthers have looked really good this year. Eagles have not done so ever since week one. Simple as that. Um, I think Carolina comes back with after their first loss. Gets a good win at home, 28-22 in favor of the Panthers. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, the key for me in this one is Carolina's defense. Um, the Stefan Gilmore trade, when he finally gets healthy, that's going to be huge. Just get him and C.J. Henderson back there. Um, wow. Um, I think they won both of those trades. But at the end of the day, the guys that they already had there at the start of the season, guys like Brian Burns, Hassan Reddick, they're already making impact in a lot of ways. And the Eagles, I mean, they're, they're a team that – Maybe they're not as bad as some people thought, but still I think Carolina is better than them in a lot of areas. Sam Darnold's making a lot of plays both in the air and on the ground. Give me Carolina 35-24. Yeah, well, I am a fan of the Panthers this year, and I am not a fan of the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. Uh, Jalen Hurts, I'd like to see him do good, but I just don't think he is a quarterback that will be able to sustain a good amount of time in the NFL. I hope he changes uh, my mind on that. I, I was about to say it. Of course, you know, you all know I love his work ethic, but uh, I want to see better production on the field, right, Ryan? And so um, I have Jalen Hurts' team losing this game. I like Carolina. I like Matt Rule. I got DJ Moore on my fantasy team. He's been putting up some good numbers. I got the Panthers 27-17. Titans at Jacksonville Jaguars, and Titans coming off a tough loss. Uh, my buddy's a Titans fan, and he was, you know, it was a tough day for him because uh, his team, the Blue Jordan Jays, also him uh, lost. That. Yeah, I did console him. His his team uh, for baseball uh, did not make the playoffs, and so we got some ice cream together. Wait, wait, let me, let me guess his team. Is he a Mariners fan? No. Blue Jays fan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, but so he'll be happy this time. Uh Trevor Lawrence didn't play bad on Thursday Night Football, but yet he was playing the Bengals, and, you know, that's a... I don't know how good they are yet. I can't tell. Titans 34-23. to 23. Derrick Henry keeps rocking it. Yeah. Um, like you said, Jacksonville, I think they've gotten better, but another tough one um, back in Cincinnati. Urban Meyer was hoping a win would fall into his lap, but it turned out <laughs> something else was going to be falling into his lap not too long after that game. You know what I'm talking about, and the Jaguars, <laughs> they're just a mess right now. Give me Tennessee, 
Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can even follow that up. Um, wow, I'm picking the Titans to win this game. I really was happy with how Trevor Lawrence played last week um, because it had not been to the standards that we've been hoping for. We're starting to see a lot of improvements, not only for him, but from the other rookie quarterbacks as well. I don't think it's enough to win, even though it's at home, because the Titans are mad coming off a loss. That means they get the win, 27-21. Next one is the Patriots at the Texans. we got two rookie quarterbacks playing in this game. One substantially better than the other. I'm not going to name any names, but um, Mac Jones is better. <laughs> Sorry, giraffe boy. Um, I'm picking the Patriots to win this one. Houston has not looked really good since week one. Um, sorry, Ryan, 29-20 Patriots. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. Heading into last Sunday, so heading into the main slate of week four, I was planning on picking the Texans for this game, but after seeing how the Texans played and after seeing how New England played, even though they both lost, obviously, two very different types of losses, I think New England against Tampa last week just came in with a great game plan on both sides of the ball. Mac Jones was on fire, played Really phenomenal. Well, the rain not... kind of put out the fire that he was on. Yeah, true. But I mean, what is it? 18, 19 completions in a row. Yeah, he tied the efficiency, record. Um, the efficiency, um, the just, you know, knowledge of the game he had. He knew where his receivers were going to be. Wasn't afraid to take the check down. Um, loved what I saw from Mac Jones. And um, I think that, you know, New England is 1-3. and three. The Texans are 1-3. and three, But this is just one of those things where even if the records look the same, one team's better than the other. I think New England takes it 29-21. But even, even if New England loses... Uh, Mac Jones will be fine. And let's bring back our special guest, Jordan Klein. Ah, Mac is up, baby! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, Jordan's back to make his pick after probably just um, destroying all the ears of the headphone users. Oh, yes! Oh, sorry. Um, well, you know what? I never was a huge fan of Mac Jones, and I'm not going to say I'm all the way on the top of the hill like Tyler and this guy right here are. Well, but, you have to be. Eh? Um, <laughs> You know, I'm certainly climbing up the hill, and he did attack last week against a good team and a good defense in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I uh, got to make sure I did pick him. Of course I did, because they're playing the Texans, and yeah. the Texans got absolutely walloped last week. 26-20, uh, to 20, Mac Jones takes a win. And, of course, everyone else on that team wins as well, and not the Texans. Uh, Couldn't find the Bears helmet, could you? Oh, yay, here it is, the Chicago Bears at the loss. Vegas Raiders and the storyline is I mean well obviously Fields is now going to be the starter for the rest of the season barring an injury I mean or he stinks I I love it and I hate it at the same time I just pray to God that it works out well uh and Derek Carr please don't play good in this game of course I have I kind of need him to winning (laughs) vote for this game (laughs) no I don't care about your fantasy team uh wait wait, wait, what's our combined record here at the touchdown table in the league that we're all in I don't, I don't Zero. know. Zero. So you're 0 and 4, you're 0 and 4. I'm a much better 1 and 3, these weaklings over here. Hey, so, my team, my other teams are. Hey, babe, 1 and hey, 11. They're, they're, 1 supposed, and 11. they're supposed to like us and think we're good at knowing football stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Our well, fantasy football. Hey, I, I have a fantasy, but I don't know what these. I mean, they're not going to like me after picking this team because I think the Raiders are probably going to be favored in this one. I'm sure they are. But of course, I always got to pick the Bears. I forgot the helmet over there. But Justin Fields, just please. Play well, I, I beg of you. Twenty-four to fourteen, same score as last week. I did that on purpose because that's the only way we can win a game. Uh, the Bears got it against Las Vegas. We yeah. actually were going to go to this game, but then it didn't work out. Give me the helmet. Oh, it, did, it didn't work out. I'm, so, I'm sorry that it. Uh, yeah, it didn't, work out. it didn't work out. They didn't let me. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, I just want to say that I think the timing of the whole Justin Fields announcement was a little bizarre. I just think that the rhetoric. Um, from Matt Nagy, because even though I'm not a Bears fan, still I gotta in the get Chicago the door. area. I, you know, see <laughs> the never media. So much I, I the listen video. to the, you know, I hear the radio when I'm in the car and stuff. So it just seemed kind of bizarre because Matt Nagy was always, you know, Andy Dalton's our guy when he's healthy. He was very, you know, committed to Dalton, and he really didn't sound like he felt like Fields was ready. But then all of a sudden, it's boom, Justin's our guy. So my theory is that someone from the upper management, maybe the owner, GM, someone in that front office, came down and said, hey. You know, we want to see Justin Fields play. We want to, you know, use this season to evaluate him. I think that's what had to happen because unless Matt Nagy just completely went from night to day and, you know. That's what it looked night, like. It, 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 well, really it, it, just, it just doesn't, something seemed a little bit strange about it. So we'll see, um, you know, down the road, we'll see if it turns out to be the right decision or if Justin Fields was not ready. But regardless, Vegas is past rust against the Bears offensive line. Plus, David Montgomery out. No, I'm picking Vegas. I think they get to 4-1. and one. They win it 27-20. I'm just going to quickly go through what you were saying. I was one even in week one that said, I don't mind if Andy Dalton starts. Obviously, I wanted Justin Fields to start as a Bears fan. You just want to see your rookie quarterback get out there. 
Um, but with Matt Nagy, it seemed like he was starting to think more and more Justin Fields is ready to go. And then after having to make that decision last week, I think they probably knew it was going to be Justin Fields the whole week. They just didn't want to give any game plan stuff because that's how Matt Nagy is for some reason. And then it was night and day. Two, one press conference one day, and the next day it was, hey, we're going all in with Justin Fields out of nowhere. I was like, okay, cool. Um, but anyways, back to the game. Uh, I can't pick the Bears to win this as much as I want to. I think it'll be a close game, though. I had a one-point game. Vegas wins it 24-23. Leave it lost Vegas. Just because you didn't pick them, I'm keeping the helmet on. Um, one more next pick. up, Browns and Chargers. This is going to be a really good game. I'm super excited for this one because these are both two teams that have both been underdogs coming into this year and have looked good. Um, and I say underdogs even though I picked the Chargers to go to the Super Bowl yeah. and Jordan picked the Browns. Not at this table. Not at this table. Um, which is That's another thing. We have Super Bowl picks going up against each other. But I'm picking the Chargers. i got to stick with them, especially since the Browns' offense has been faltering the past couple weeks. Chargers win 29-27. Yeah, th- this is going to be a great one, like you said. Uh, I know Baker Mayfield's kind of playing hurt right now, but I'm giving it to the Browns because I trust their ability to run the football. This is going to be a tight, well-played, uh, disciplined game on both sides. I think both teams are going to bring their A game, but it's just going to be one of those games where if you play it 10 times, one team will win five times, the other team will win five times. I think this, these teams are very evenly matched, but in this one... Give me the Browns, 23-20 to 20 over the Chargers. By the way, I know the Chargers are made fun of for having no fans, but that game I, I against the Raiders, like, that was beyond even my expectations. Like, yeah. wow. <laughs> like, it was probably like 75-25 Yeah, I was going to say, Raiders. it's probably three-fourths of Raider fans. Yeah. Which, I guess, makes sense. Yeah. The Raiders, I, I they well, did you hear that, that they, they prepared uh, for to go uh, silent count? Yeah, how sad <laughs> is that? Like, it's one thing if you're going to, like, Seattle or you're going to Kansas City, but, like, to play at home, uh, but hey, you know, I mean, like, why, why don't, like, why do you want to go out and see? That's a good football team this year. You know, they're three and one. They already got a couple wins in the division. But I mean, the reality is, there's just no Chargers fans in the LA area. That's yeah. what it is. Yet until they do good this year, yeah. then everyone's gonna be like Justin Herbert. I always loved you, mm-hmm. which is gonna be me because I had to it higher than him. Right. Keep going. Imagine. Well, anyway, um, I I admit what I'm wrong. I think I love Justin Fields, uh, but the Bears helmet's coming off now. Oh. Um, I love him, maybe, if he does good. Anyways, the next game that these guys have already talked about makes me feel like a simp. Why? Because it makes me feel like I got squirrels in my pants. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> Were you supposed to hit the camera? No, I was not supposed to hit the camera. Oh. Yeah, First in-person <laughs> video in a month, and I think we're getting a little crazy here. I hope you can see me. Let's start that up. There we go. Oh, God, it's going to be a 40-minute video. Yeah. That's not unusual. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having fun today. I'm glad to be back here at the table. Tyler's probably pissed at me. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> what knew you? <laughs> True. Uh, but one thing you can be happy about... Actually, I don't know who we picked, but... Uh, if he picked the Browns with me, then he could be happy. I, I didn't. Him. You did not? No. Well, then I just give you more reason to be upset with me, but this is a fantastic game. I love both of these teams, and I really like the Chargers this year. Browns need to step it up a little bit. Last week's game was a little bit somber against the Vikings, but hopefully they can step it up now and Kareem Hunt stop scoring touchdowns. I have Nick Chubb on my fantasy team. Stop doing it, Kareem Hunt. Okay? Just pick the game. Uh, I bench Baker Mayfield at this moment, but I think his team wins 30-24. to Good game. Voice crack at the end. It was well-deserved after the squirrel brutally attacked the camera. It was an actual squirrel, though. Uh, Giants, <laughs> not an actual fake one. Giants at Dallas. Uh, this should be a blowout. I think my prediction right now, maybe it's early. I don't know. People like MVP picks earlier. But I, if Dak is able to stay healthy, I think he's got it this year. Um, he really is the stud of that team. He only got like less than 200 yards last week, which for my fantasy team was kind of annoying. But he also got four touchdowns. So it's like, eh. But anyways, uh, he's been playing fantastic. Lights out. Great stuff from Dak Prescott. I think he takes down the Giants team that feels like they're doing good after they just beat the Saints. But they'll get walloped here in week five. There's a score. 35-20. to The Dak and the boys take it. And you know what? Is this their year? No, it's not. But it's Dak's year. Yeah, I mean, I almost have the same score, and you explained it really well, so I'm not really going to add on much. I've got Dallas 33-20. Like you said, Dak playing well. I think the Cowboys are the better team. Um, I, It pains me to say it, but the Dallas Cowboys look like a top three team in the NFC. Right now. Even Stephen A. is ranking them top three. I think he had them two, and he hates them. 
Uh, they have looked really good, and I'm I kind of about them Cowboys. I'm enjoying it seeing Dak come back and play well. I think that continues in this game, even though I think the Giants aren't as bad as they look. Um, Daniel Jones has looked a lot better this year, also, which is good for them in their future if he stays there. I got Dallas winning thirty to twenty-two. I just love you. Yeah, Daniel Jones is looking yeah, good. I got Dallas winning. Yeah. But, Sorry, yeah. Daniel. I Maybe next year. Uh, let's move on to the Trey <laughs> area here, even though it's not in the Trey area, but Trey area Trey. will be playing. Uh, the, the 49ers and the Cardinals. And, yes, it's Trey Lance's first start. He played after um, Grappolo went down last week. And um, I don't know how it's going to go for um, this offense right now just because Trey Lance has looked a bit iffy in the preseason and what we've seen in the regular season. I think over time he could develop into a good player, but his first game might be a bit rough against the undefeated mm-hmm. Arizona Cardinals. Uh, I'm going to pick the Cardinals to win this one 24-17. If it was Jimmy G, I'd make it closer. I think Trey, Trey will be fine, just maybe not in this game. We've seen a lot of rookie stumbling in the first games, and I think that stays the same with Trey Lance. Yeah, I think with, with this so one. Sean McVay. Oh, I did? <laughs> For a second there. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. You know, Gotta love Sean McVay. You know, <laughs> gotta, gotta love him. But, um... You know, uh, that that's not the NFC West teams that we are talking about. We're talking about San Francisco and Arizona. These NFC West games, any combination of the two teams that you can make, I think it's going to be a pretty good football game. So I'm um, looking forward to uh, catching some of this one um, because, you know, both teams obviously have a lot of key players in the same division. There's a lot of that. And, you know, it is Trey Lance time, probably a bit earlier than we thought. And, and I mean, Trey Lance has all the talent in the world. We've talked about that. But just is he ready has he played enough football? Does he have enough experience in that system to take over the starting job? I mean, now he's not got, he doesn't have a choice. But I don't know. Just Trey Lance taking over the starting job now kind of feels like Luke Skywalker going to fight Darth Vader in The Empire Strikes Back, where, you know, he's pumped, he's ready for it. But it's like, is he truly ready? <laughs> it was like my, my Luke Skywalker face. <laughs> yeah. I hope, hopefully he doesn't, um, you know... You know, have anything like hopefully he doesn't um, get his hand chopped off in the game or anything like Luke Skywalker. Did, but you know, Trey Lance, you know, you get the analogy. Lots of potential, but is he ready for this moment? You know, I think he's played decent in the limited action he's gotten, but I'm gonna say that the young Padawan gets it done and beats the undefeated Cardinals. Like I said, any NFC West game is gonna be pretty much a toss up. I think it's gonna be. Um, fun to watch it anytime two NFC West teams get together. So give me San Francisco to knock off the league's final undefeated team, the Arizona Cardinals, who expected that. Uh, not me, Car- or, excuse me, 49ers win 31-23 Trey area. Yeah, guys, I'm still shocked I hit the squirrel, or, uh, the squirrel with the camera. Uh, I do apologize for that. I'm not shocked, however, that Tyler does not like my camera work. I thought it was fine. Uh, but I would be shocked in this game if Trey Lance played well in his first game. Uh, or, or, uh, regular season start is the words that I was looking for. The Cardinals have been playing really well, and of course, I think Kyler Murray needs to cut his hair because it looks better that way. Uh, same with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but anyway, he's been playing well this year. The defense has been playing well, and I can't pick against the Cardinals right now, especially because uh, George Kittle's out, and this is going to be. Uh, I, uh, don't get me started on George Kittle. And this is. Uh, this is Trey Lance's first start. I just don't think it's a recipe for success for the 49ers in any way, shape, or form. Tyler's really upset with me behind the camera right now, uh, but I think he picked the Cardinals too, so maybe we can oh, fist bump for that one. 28 to 23, Kyler gets it done. And if I were to tell you what he just did behind the camera, I'm just going to stop there. Sunday night football on NBC. My boys, Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth. I yes. love him. It's good for me to Rico. I don't know who it is. It better not be. No. Uh, but this it is a fantastic won. game. We got the Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs and whatever the heck they want to call their stadium now. It's still always going to be Arrowhead Stadium. I don't care if you want to call it in something else. I don't know what they say, but it's Arrowhead it's like Stadium. It's like G-E-H-A-R. Anyways, uh, that, this will be a fantastic game. I like what the Bills have been able to put to, put together recently. Obviously, I think after the loss in week one, it's really hard to see where exactly this team is because their schedule hasn't been rocking hard difficult. But uh, we'll see how it ends up going. The Chiefs, they're in last place in the division right now, which is a shock. I don't think they're going to end up there. I think they'll spring themselves back up to the top. In, uh, in no time, and so this will be a fantastic game, one that everyone should be watching. I'll have both my eyes on that. I'm sure that squirrel that's sitting right there, he'll be watching if he, can, he possibly can, but he's not alive, so he can't watch it. <laughs> 32 to 28. 
Kansas City Chiefs win the okay. Move on. Um, gonna be a great matchup. Uh, gonna be back and forth. Two good quarterbacks. Two good teams. Um, AFC Championship rematch. Lots of fun storylines in this one. And we'll go back and forth, but Kansas City's gonna come out on top, 28-24. Uh, I'm just going to breeze through this one. That pun was intended. Drew Brees, Sunday Night Football. Uh, it's um, so weird to see him like making picks for games now. I know. In, he's, in he's January like, of 2021. I played against him last year. And yeah. <laughs> this, and in January this of 2021, place. he was starting games in the playoffs, and now he's already picking games. Time for right. Um, I, this is going to be a great game, I think, regardless. I originally picked Kansas City to win. I had the thing dotted in or whatever we do for these, these picks. Um, I got it up to a camera, and then I, I cool. just thought to myself, you know, the Bills have had two shutouts this year. Defensively, they look so much better than the Kansas City Chiefs. I think that's the X factor in this game. I think they have the talent this year to go into Arrowhead and win the game 33-33. to I got the Bills. Wait, did you say 33-33? to 33-30, 33 I got the Bills. Oh, I thought you said, okay. I bad. might have. I misheard I don't you. Know. I misheard you. The Jordan family can steal. Um... Monday Night Football, the Indianapolis Colts at the Baltimore Ravens. I told Jordan when I saw this was the Monday Night game, I said, I'm picking the Colts. I don't care. So I stuck with what I said. I'm lone wolfing in here probably. I'm depending <laughs> on what you guys are. Um, going to pick here, but I got the Colts winning. Ryan, I'm surprised um, you might have them winning or not. I'd be surprised if you picked the Ravens to win this one. But I'm going with Colts 27-20. Well, it, I went back and forth on this one, but, you know, the, the, the Colts and the Texans legitimately could have the same record heading into when they play in yeah. weeks. Like, how cool would that be? <laughs> like, and hey, Texans are a game back at first set at this time. But anyway, I went back and forth, but also Rashad Bateman might be coming back for this game, so then I kind of felt obligated to pick <laughs> Baltimore. And, you know... Might be coming Maybe, back. maybe. Um, I doubt I'll play. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, Baltimore has been playing well and all three plays in their offensive playbook have been working great mm-hmm. and you know what the Colts I think they're gonna you know have a strong second half and make the playoff but I think that they're gonna start one and four just like the Texans hey we're both equally talented what do you know uh give me the Ravens 33-24 I hope Rashad Bateman plays and if he does I hope so too because they need some receivers he might get more yards can the yeah, yeah, Tony yeah. Tony does all season yeah, what? Hey, he's yeah. looking you know, he's looking better yeah, now he had a like, good game last we had a whole week. let's chill on the Canarias yeah. Tony train here because I think he'll be okay yeah, we went to bat for him so he better we have, he better we have to it wasn't sure. me we literally made a video yeah. just to no, scream he's been at getting a lot of social media crap but that stopped this week because I think he got like 70 something yards last week I may I might have thrown a squirrel at the camera but I am not on the Canarias Tony train with them so you can't you don't you can't hold that one against me for now Okay, I'm going to find the stats. Final game. Monday Night Football. <laughs> I'm going to set the score. Colts at Ravens. I got some Colts fans. You know, they, they like their team, uh, obviously. And uh, some of them are more pessimistic than others are. Uh, and there's also the Baltimore Ravens playing them. The Ravens are at home. They always play to their competition. The Colts are a great competition. And, you know, I'm, I'm just going to to end it there. I just want to say... Uh, join us for the, for next week's videos on picks. We'll be back here, and I don't think there will be any squirrels flying at the camera. Can't promise that. Uh, but what I do promise you is I have the Indianapolis Colts uh, losing this game. <laughs> the, the scores will be 26-23. All right. Let's, play, um, let's wrap this video up. Yeah, this yeah, has been please. quite the journey. Andy. First it's, off, Kadir is showing at 78 yards last week, so let's lay off his back for a bit here. Also uh, second off, I apologize for this disastrous video. Jordan got a little excited hey. being back here <laughs> in studio, and uh, we had a uh, disastrous time, hey, but it was good to be back. He can make an edit, okay? We'll he, once that camera week. gets hit, he can pause it, you know, do that <laughs> thing that pops up on the screen, and then it's going to show my selfie mode. That'll be funny. Um, I gotta get this up by right, tomorrow morning, so I don't know if I'll have time to do that. But anyways, Wait. thank you guys for watching this video. There's our week five picks. I hope it's week five. It is. Yeah. Uh, week five picks for the NFL season. Hey, I didn't call uh, the this, Falcons. If you're still Let's here go. for some you reason, um, Wait, no, thank, thank you for <laughs> listening and watching. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Good to be back. We'll have another video here, hopefully for you next week. Um, and with that, we will see you guys later. See ya.